everyone and welcome to another video at my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to take one of your uh, Cricut cuts and enhancing it with Copic markers. Um, I found this cute little um, Prince frog um, through the Cricut des design space. I just searched for frog and uh, found this cute little guy and so I just cut his body out of some light green his crown out of yellow and I had some pink glittered uh, cardstock for his little cheeks and the, the heart on his belly. Um, I'm going to turn this little guy into a Valentine's card for my son. So I thought the, the little froggy would be cute. And I just, uh, as you see, I'm just peeling up all the pieces uh, from my Cricut mat. If you, if you turn everything the same color um, in the design space software then you can place the different things around one mat and only use one mat versus having to use uh, three different mats. So first I'm just going to take my zig uh, two-way glue pen and I'm going to glue the heart to his belly before I start coloring. And there on the little froggy there's uh, little cut marks to show exactly where to line up the heart so you can get it uh, just centered uh, perfectly on the little frog's body. And so I'm just going to bring out my, um, my Copic hand colored chart and see what colors go best with uh, the colored card stock that I have. And I decided on the YG 23 and 25 and so first I'm beginning with the 23 and I'm just kind of drawing a line where his little back leg and separate his little back leg and his, his uh, body. And then I'll go in with a little bit of flicking with the 23 and then I'll come back um, with a little bit of flicking with the 25 and then I'll blend back out with the 23. And then I decided that this just didn't quite blend enough, so I went ahead and grabbed the YG21 to blend that on out with. And then I got, with that, I got a real smooth blend into my uh, color of cardstock. So I continued to do this um, all the way around the little froggy's body. giving shading all the way around um, his body and then around his legs and his toes too just to give him a lot of definition and to really make him uh, pop. This way it's just not such a, a you know a flat image um, like it would have been with just the, the die cut alone. So I'm going to continue doing this all the way around and around his eyes too. I'll get that done and I'll be right back with you. Okay, and for his crown, I used Y15 and Y11. Just to go around and give that uh, crown just a little bit of pop to it too. And now I'm gluing on his cheeks. And again, there's uh, little cut marks on the, on the frog for where to place the, the cheeks. I stuck the big one down first and then I stuck the little one down. There's two different size um, spots for his cheeks and realized I put the wrong one on the wrong side. So um, using the Zig 2 Gui glue pen, you have a little bit of time. Uh, so I was able to peel um, both cheeks up and get them placed back down on the correct size side so you can't see the little cut marks um, that are underneath. Then I just uh, put a little glue on the crown too. Oh, and then decided that I needed to blend some more there. All right, so I got that uh, glued down, and now I'm adding some close to my heart liquid glass uh, to the crown, just to give it some definition and some shine. Liquid glass is a similar product to Ranger's Glossy Accents. Got a nice thick coat of this will give it a, a lot of dimension and really make it stand out. So you have dimension in the the um, 
the glittered cardstock for his cheeks and his heart, and he'll have dimension on the hat uh, or the crown. And then um, the body has uh, depth with the Copic coloring, so this really gives this little froggy a lot of character. Now I'm looking at it and deciding, I think it just needs a little bit more something just to give it a just a little bit more pizzazz. So I'm going to take the Y28, which is gold and Copic, and I'm going to do a dot technique in the uh, green areas. So I just start with just little little tiny dots. Just to give it a little bit more texture. I go all the way around all the green areas. What a cute little frog. So stay tuned for the Valentine's card. Thank you.